now in this figma to shopify master class we will move to the next section we have done until that with everything mobile responsive now we will go to that section called as seen in so if you see first of all whenever we are doing a design we need to keep in mind about how this look in desktop also how this looks in mobile so we don't need to do one things couple of times so if you see this design there is full logo okay and if you see the portion of it in mobile it turns out a slider something like this okay so first of all in desktop it is completely visible but in mobile it will be one logo will be showed at a time or two logo showed at a time and other should become as a slider or as a carousel so we need to keep this in mind very important things so first of all let's click those images and then click on export and export them one by one okay click on export and export them one by one so now let's go to the page fly so i will take add element then i will take uh, a a single section first of all okay then if you see this section has a background color so i'll click on it then this is the color code for that go to that section then go to styling and then i will give this a background color okay as you can see the background color has been taken then we have this headline same font but it is 30 pixel so let's click on add element go to headline drag this under here and we'll make this headline uh three will be good enough we'll use headline one only for our product title or main title of the page for the seo purpose if you know something about seo i hope you will understand what i am talking about so i'll give alata but in that case it is 30 pixel and it is by default bold as i said every time we take a heading and paragraph we need to go to margin and make it zero and then it is as seen in so let's change it to as seen in okay good then uh as seen as is smaller in scene so let's make it smaller then we have four images and these images turning into slider so for that for that purpose you click an add element and if we go to the top we will find a slideshow element here and we will take the image slideshow element under the headline okay then go to styling and i will give margin 30 25 go to general and then i will remove other sliders with delayed button so we only have four then i will click this and then i will click this item to be displayed it should be four four okay item to be displayed four we have four slider so why not it is working the maximum value possible value is four. Oh no it should not be the case how this can be only four it should be more than that not so let let click the slideshow and then one two three four let's delete the so we can only show four at a time which does not make sense so let me delete the slideshow for now there is some some bugs going on i i think okay for this purpose what i'll do i'll go to the layout and i'll take four columns okay and then go to styling and make it a 25 margin and then i'll click on add element and i'll drag one image in one column then go to general and upload the images so for some reason slideshow is not working so i will look for the alternative layout okay which is also look good in mobile but may not be the same as i as, you, as we know that few things won't be same so i'll click on no first of all then just duplicate that logo to that column drag that to that column click on select pops and and if i click this Two, four, zero. Okay. So drag. Okay. So for this, let's make it center align. Let's make the image again center align. Let's make the image again center align. Let's make it center align as well. I think I give some margin. 
okay let's remove it and click this row let's make it everything in the center perfect now if you see this section is smaller than the previous section previous section is starting right from here okay which is 1300 pixel we have given so if you want to if we want to make this area smaller what we can do we can click that section and we can reduce the max with something like this okay let's click the image i think it should be in the middle it should not it is not in the it is in the middle okay so i think this how it is looking and if i go to mobile what i will do i will go to the raw and then we will make it two column two column okay that image size is causing some issue then i will give it 20 so one image is larger than the other so how do it is very important in that purpose so i will click on it and then i will make it 25 pixels what was it 25 so let's make it less than that let's make it 20 20 20 will be good okay and the padding is also not bad for desktop and mobile it is looking good so now we have done this with mobile responsive uh, slideshow has some issue so i have just uh, avoid that for this purpose so now we have this section it will be very straightforward and this will make the things easier if you build a section properly and if you understand the layout and the editor of pagefly how it is working for desktop and mobile version and how to duplicate and copy elements from one section to another things get easier so we'll find this in that a bit in this section so i'll click on the section and take the background color from it okay then i'll go here and then i'll click add element and i'll take what i'll take two column layout right so as you can see two column layout and if you see we need to we need to give 50 and 50 so let's give 50 top 50 bottom margin okay so we have an image in the left so click on add element then go to image drag that image here so this is the same image if we click on it this is not the image so this image is containing in that frame okay now this 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 frame is containing the images so i'll select that frame and export those two separate images at a time okay so click on it go to general go to select go to upload and upload that image okay so that will be good so now let's uh, uh, click on select and this will be good to go so uh, as you can see this is perfectly working now we have a headline and i need to go through the section and make it the same with we are using and go to general and paste the paste the background color of yellow okay and then we have after using yellow we have uh, this two text one headline same headline as like this one so i'll duplicate this headline and drag this headline with move button just like that with your mouse and pc into that column and then just change it right so we does not need to design it again then we need a need paragraph so i'll duplicate that paragraph and drag this and move that paragraph into that area but what i'll do i'll copy this i will copy this something like that okay then then just uh, i'll duplicate this as well we'll go and click enter and paste it here and then we have these buttons okay then just duplicate that button similar design button similar size and everything so we don't need to do it multiple times same goes for here click on that block duplicate that block and drag that block under this one okay and the issue only is making it black so let's click it the styling and copy the color code from here go to this icon and paste the icon here so now our this layout is completely ready okay and working fine and let's click this row and then just make it center align okay but if you see uh, there is some gaps after this okay uh, but our gaps is marginal our gaps is less so if you want to do the same we need to click this heading element and then target this column then go to styling and then give some margin left something like this okay if you want to increase it but for me 
this does not look uh, does not look bad for me this will work perfectly okay but if you think we need to do the same and give the spacing just like that we can do that and now uh, if you see how it looking in mobile it is already in the middle it is already in the middle because we are copy paste the from the top so now let's click this and then now let's uh, remove the padding for mobile only for mobile let's do it and see how this looking but it is becoming very small so let's increase it to at least 20 okay at least 20 at least 20 will be good right so it is now working good only for mobile 20 is best okay as we already discussed why it is so let's give some padding to that section as well for only 10 okay it is only tablet responsive already be tablet responsive but we can click that row and make it one column at a time that will be best okay for me that is the best things to do and for me let's click and make it 30 let's make it 30 as well for tablet mm, this is this is good very good let's decrease this spacing a little bit more okay good so now everything looks perfect and mobile responsive okay now let's click on save now let's click on save and we have done this section and everything is mobile responsive as well because we have done the hard work in the first place and make few sections very uh, make few sections perfectly so that is why the things getting easier so we have completed that section these sections together and perfectly now another few sections left but things will get easier as i said many things is repeating repeating multiple times like headline is every time it will be same we can just copy paste the headline that we have used in the top section and drag that here it will be automatically mobile responsive as well okay so this is the benefit if you are properly making one things in desktop and one things properly optimized for mobile then you can copy paste those elements in the whole page and multiple time and you don't need to redo the things again and again and again okay so that is the perfectly well, this is the process or work flow that i continuously using while building pages in pagefly mostly so now let's go with that section which will be also a challenging section and i will describe how we can achieve something like this